Welcome back to the channel here. Let me get that sun out of your glare. No, glare out of your eyes, not the sun out of your glare. All right, anyways. Well, it's time for Miss Lydia, my daughter, to learn how to drive all the lawnmower. So, you know, you, we all know that hydrostatics is probably one of the easiest ones to drive. So, I've got it, you know, idle down, mower deck is not going. I just told her, just drive around. Just don't drive anywhere near anything for a while. So, we won't, I'm not gonna let her probably mow today. We'll let her, you know, baby steps. You know, she's a, she's one of them pre-teens, so of course they know everything, but they don't. But, okay, hey, I'm back to working on the UTS diesel. <clears throat> I already changed this drain, and I changed the washer that was on, um, the stud that holds this canister on here's the old one i don't know if it's gonna show up but it's it's pretty uh mangled a little bit no more Oop. now it's dirty so okay so what am i what i'm gonna do now this is the uh the shutoff valve off that ub diesel back which i'm gonna put back in but just for uh reference purposes um so this right here i come to figure out is some kind of rope packing that they used to use you know to uh you know i'll seal up threads and leaks and whatever so i think i'm gonna do the same thing with teflon tape i'm gonna try it i hope maybe um wrap it around there but i'm gonna try to use this one so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull this one out shove this one back in real quick just to keep the fuel i do have my drain bucket under there but uh okay well i'm gonna try doing that hopefully not make too much of a mess and all i know is it's warm today it's uh in the 80s and you know this dude is not used to that yet that is for sure so so i'm hoping as soon as i get this leak fixed i've got all the leaks taken care of is my thoughts i'm gonna move my bucket over a little bit here we got a pile of rain yesterday. Uh, talking to my father-in-law. Well, of course, I had another track meet to go to today. Today was the regional, so I think that would be the last one for my Nicholas. So, but uh, anyways, uh, congratulations to all the ones that did make it to state. So, all right, we're now we're to, to the hand type part. So maybe I can stick this other one in there real quick. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Oh, I didn't see a whole lot of yuck come out of there, so that's good. All right. Now, probably, <laughs> this one probably doesn't leak. Yeah, you can see on this one, that packing stuff is pretty much non-existent. So, I might just put this one in, because that one had a little bit better. We'll, we'll see how it works. I mean, if it's leaking with the valve shut off, then we'll know that the packing wasn't any good. Then I don't have to use Teflon tape, but something tells me it's gonna leak anyways. All right. I can see air bubbles coming out of here, so. So I would imagine that it's going to leak anyways. Well, the boys bailed on me again and went fishing. I can, I can do all this by myself. It's too wet to do anything back in the field. So. Well, if it's leaking air, it'll leak fuel, I'm sure. But, at the minute, it's not leaking any fuel. Wouldn't that be something? I don't know if you can see on there. But see how that, that packing that was on there to seal on that shaft is pretty much non-existent. It's very little right there. Okay, my daughter was asking for some advice. <laughs> she wants to go on to the next step. And I'm not going to let her mow yet because I want her. I said, well, you can go faster if you want, but don't, uh, 
we're not turning the mower on yet. Well, that is not leaking. Huh. That's a good thing. And the fuel is on. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. All right, we're getting pretty good. You know, one thing I did want to check is I'm wondering if the return, let's see, the return line comes through here, comes through this. This must be some kind of pressure valve thingy here. And then it runs back along inside of the engine and runs basically in the same port that the supply does. So I was thinking about taking that off just to see if that's plugged. It might make a little bit of a mess, but oh, what size is it? Probably, is it a 916th? Since I have a 916th handy, oh yeah. All right, let's see. Not that way. I should probably grab a line wrench. No, okay, I got it. All right, well, let's put a rag under there, catch some of it. But we got fuel in it. Okay, look at there. Not a lot coming out of there. Okay, let's. I'll put that on there for a minute. Let's. Uh, oh, did I have the camera turned so you couldn't see? I'm sorry. Here, I'll do it again. There. See how there's hardly anything coming out of there, and this has got quite a bit of fuel in it. So I don't know if this is uh, how that all works or not. But let me grab a uh, something to stick in there that's not a real stick, you know. <laughs> Okay, I don't know where I'm going to stick you, but I'm going to try to do this one-handed, basically. All right, let's see if there's any, any junk in there. I don't know. Or will there, is there supposed to be much coming out of there? You know what I mean? Let's put that on, back on just for a minute here. My my wife will love that I smell like uh, diesel fuel. I'm sorry. Oh, I might have to take that one back off so I can get the top one off. This might have more coming out of it. You know, I probably should grab a plug for that or just stick my finger over it. Maybe I'll let me do that. All right, I'm gonna set you over here. This, like that, and this is like that. Maybe, sorry my hand's in the way, but not sure any other way I'm gonna do it here. Okay, we got lots of fuel coming out of here, so okay, that's not plugged. Okay, let's tighten this back up. Okay, let's put this back on for now. All right. Okay. Whew. Yep. Got a mess going on here. Okay. No, no biggie. Okay. I went and got a air hose. Oh, of course, it's not a 9 16th there. Uh, I don't think it's 11. It's either 5 8. Okay. Jeez. Well, it's not 5 eighths. It must be 9 sixteenths. Ah. Oh, yep. Okay. Just got to get it on there correctly. At least, maybe. All right, there we go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook this. Then I'm going to blow air through it. Or I'm going to take the cap off the... 
I know I'm getting air all over through everything I just worked out to get, but you know when I unhooked all them, same thing was happening. Okay, let's take the cap off. We're gonna do this belt. Okay. Yeah, it put air all the way through it. Okay. So that's not plugged, but look, that's pouring right out of there now. So okay, there might have had to been some some uh, disgusting stuff in there. So okay. I need to Ooh, gotta move my thing over here. Alright, putting her back on. Okay, so I think that was plugged too. Come on. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so the blue it, blew it right out. I don't think you can see how wet it is, but the bloosh. So there's probably crap in the tank, and there'll probably be. Well, it's not that easy to do. I'd have to cut the line. You know, and put an inlight filter in it, or well, how do I put a sediment bulb with that return thing in there? Hmm. Now, yeah. okay, I'm not gonna worry about that at this minute. But he's what a mess. Okay, I think I'm done on this side for now. Other than all right, that valve's on, so I gotta get I gotta get fuel into these again. Yeah. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna grab the tools and we'll get the fuel, or get the air out of these again. Okay, well, you're upside down, or, well, maybe it's not upside down to you, but you're right on the hood, so, all right. Let's get some air out of these. It's already bubbling. That's good, okay. This way, right out of here. You know what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do? I'll show you in a second. Look at all that air. Oop. Hey. Okay. Well, that, that didn't take much to get that out of there. Mm -hmm. Thing back down. Okay. Cool. that one Didn't take long there either. Okay, and we, we, we must have better flow than we did last time, too. So, all right, one more. Oh, my New York buddies, friends, I got your package. Appreciate it. They sent me a. Sent me a couple filters for this tractor. I just changed these, but I may have to change them again here. So, and some other stuff. I, I appreciate you guys. So, all right. I can hear the air coming. All right, come on. Come on. Bloop, 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 bloop. I can hear it bubbling in there, or like gurgling. I wonder if a guy could put, you know, pour fuel in there too. I, I don't know if that would, or would it lock air in there yet? That's what, that's what I'm wondering. So, okay. Come on. I can hear, I can hear it gurgling here. I'll turn you a little bit. I think what I'm going to do here, this is would be a choke cable if this was a gasser, but 
course this is a diesel so oh i gotta figure out how to there it is right there there's an a little allen screw in there are you seeing what i'm seeing yeah okay so i gotta loosen that up we'll have to adjust this here um i gotta make sure that this even moves before i get too excited pull that cable make sure it works but uh usually like i say i start messing something else and that'll start coming out but it hasn't yet all right well i need another wrench just to loosen that up all right Oop, there we go okay all right but I, what i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to um get a battery um and i got a new solenoid for this starter i want to make sure that uh, we're going to test the system here to make sure that the solenoid is the issue um before uh before I change it is what I'm getting at. I was thinking, thinking about something else. All right, let's uh, we'll uh, fix the choke cable or not choke cable. This is the the stop. You know, I mean, that shuts the fuel off to the pump. So it, uh, which is nice and nice and looped up yet. So let me grab another wrench. Okay, I uh, found Jake's Allen wrenches. <laughs> Had to call in to see where they're at, but all right good it turned without any problem so that's good all right i don't think i take this all the way out Let's see if i can get that out gotta go out more than that apparently so okay can't see in there oh, it's a bunch of dirt or You would think it wouldn't be that tight, but you really don't want to drop it. Hmm. Okay, do I got to loosen both of them? Is there two here? I don't think so. There can't be a pin in there, I wouldn't think. Trying to clean some of the schmutz out of there. Hmm. Well, I might have to grab a pair of pliers. I am sweating. Holy Toledo. Oh, that was close. All right, let me grab a pair of pliers. I'm not sure if that's my answer or not. Okay. There, that was just stuck with grease. Okay. Good news. All right. Okay, where am I at? That, that looks like a 716. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's loosen this baby up. Oh. Boy, she's good and warm. Okay, let's just pull it right out of there. All right, let's go double check. Before we get too excited that the, the whole cable even moves, you know, before I go through all the work of fishing that up through there. Oh, let's see. Must be this one. All right, what'd you do to them pliers? You set them. Okay. All right. Knob's broken. That's not a good sign, is it? Yeah, I pretty much say that she is froze up. 
All right, so we need a new cable there. So I might as well not even hook that one up. Anyways, let's see. Can I get it in there through that toolbox or do I gotta take, I really don't wanna take the fuel tank off, but uh, let's see. It's right there. I can feel it. I can take off the dash. There's only three little flathead screws there. And I might be able to reach down in there and get to it that way. So, okay. All right, so that's what I need to do. I'm pretty sure we're not charging at 30 plus. So I'm guessing that doesn't work. But all right. Well, okay. So I'll put that on the wish list. But we don't have to have that to uh, continue what we're doing here. All right. Cool. It's not dripping anymore. That's nice. Real nice. Okay. On to the other side. Okay. This should have a, a battery tray here. I wonder if I got one out back or something because this takes that long. Actually, it probably should have a big a big 12 on here. So, all right. Well, let's, I'm going to clean up some of this stuff. I'm going to go grab a battery. I'll just fasten it to the side like I had it before. And we'll we'll test this thing again and see how, it, how it's going. Okay. All right. Battery is hooked up. Okay. So, the clutch is back. Um, so, I might need two hands here. All right. Anyway, so when that is engaged, zero is happening. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and we're going to hook this underneath there to see. Here, we'll unhook it from the battery first to see what is going on there. I think that's a 5.8. Yeah. All right. Let's hook this. So we'll take this off first. And we'll run the power direct underneath there and see if the starter will turn over for us. Well, and if it doesn't, we know the starter's bad. And that'd give me another starter that we have to get fixed. So. Oh well. Well, it's just about croc season. And I mean footwear. Getting too hot. I don't like to sweat, but you know, it is what it is. Here. Sometimes we just don't have a choice, right? <clears throat> when a guy's sweating, jacking his jaws, you know, you know it's warm. Okay, I'll set that to the side for a minute. All right, Mr. Flat Screwdriver here. And this tractor sat outside for a very long time. I'm, I, I'm guessing. I mean, the way the weeds were growing around it and stuff, I'm, I'm really surprised that it's in as good a shape or you know as as it is. But um, getting all the gremlins worked out of it. Okay. All right. Okay, well, other than being real dirty too, but see we have some corrosion here and that might be part of the problem. See, it, when you push on that, that connects that to there. So, you know, I can see a little green green on there too. It might need, need to be cleaned up, but okay, let's, let's test it. Well, with all this diesel fuel, it might be interesting, but if it was gasoline, It'd be real interesting, right? Okay, let's see what happens. Nothing. Maybe it is a starter. Yep. Yep, I'm 
I'm guessing my starter went. Kapushki. That are not getting the ground over here. I know the battery's good. Let me try one more thing. Okay, so I've got jumper cables hooked direct here. And when I touch this, if you can hear it turning over or not, but it's turning over. Okay. All right, so the starter is not junk. I wonder if my cables were bad. So I am going to put my... Uh, Selenite back on. I might clean this up just a little bit more And uh, That's not bad there All right, and we'll just try it again. I don't Because it's shiny back in there, but if it's not getting through here Or I just put the new one on You know what let's just put a new one on I have a brand new one. <sighs> okay. I just want to make sure it'll work. Mm. Nope. <laughs> it don't fit. Okay. All right. Well. That's a bummer. It says it's supposed to fit, but guess what? It doesn't fit. Okay. Because <sighs> there's no, no good way. No good way to get that on there. Okay. Well, guess what? These guys are getting that back. Oh. Okay. Well, that's two couple orders in a row that uh, didn't work out so well for me. All right. Where's them two little pieces? They go inside. Oh. Let's try it again. It could have been my battery cable. Wouldn't that have been something? All right. Let's try this again. All right. Which kind of tells me that's kind of what it was. Maybe this cylinder wasn't bad. I just had a bad cable or two. And I think it's my ground cable, I'll be honest with you. Oh, man. But that would be cool. All right. Mr. Screwdriver. Okay. Okay, there's that, and there's that. Okay, let's hook the, let's see. Well, I should be able to hook the hot to here. All right, this works. Are you getting power in there though? That'd be the next thing. You see it okay all right so the starter selenite is working now so it was my battery cable okay that's good news that's easy to fix all right let's see what did i do with that cable i just took off oh, that's me back here. all right well let's hook this one back up And we'll know if it's this one here real quick. This doesn't look awesome here, but man, there's a lot of good stuff in there yet. So 
All right, let's put that back on there too. Okay. Okay. All right, let's try it. Let's try it again. Woo! Sparky spark here. I like that. Not really. All right, let's try it again here. All right. We're, we're in business. Okay, well, I did a continuity test on my ground wire, and from here to the there, it wasn't talking. So I put a new end on it. Now now I've got spinach uh, of the old starter here. Okay, well, I'm probably going to have to crack my injector lines again. Um, but I was going to try it without it, but let's, well... I guess I could un unscrew them. Oh, let's let's try it without it first. We'll see how this goes. All right, let's give her some throttle. Let me see smoke. Get started a little bit. I'm gonna go crack those lines. <sighs> Not that I wanted to, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay. <sighs> Just make sure we're getting getting it up in here. <sighs> that one was not wet yet. So because <clears throat> I changed all these lines. Plus had you know other stuff apart so there's air in there again so here we go again but that's okay man that was so hard to get to i don't know if i should crack a return line too That's all I'm going to loosen that one up. Man, that one turned really easy after I got it started. Oh, well, that's that one. I need that. Okay, return line's loose, and my top of the injection pump is loose. Um, I'll set you right here. I don't know, maybe you'll, maybe you'll see before I do. If there's any fuel coming out. Get a starter break. fuel in the return area. Mosquito, I don't want your help. All right, let's try some more. Okay. 
Okay, I got plenty of, plenty of fuel coming out of the return. I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit with my hand. Okay, this cylinder's wet. That cylinder's wet. Let's tighten those two up. Definitely have fuel pump into here. Yay. Normally I I always crack them just right on the injectors, but this pump, uh, it's been a it's been a pain. I haven't used any ether yet. I don't think I need to. It's hot out, and I don't know if it makes a difference on these or not. All right, we're gonna try a little bit more before I tighten those up. Dripping on this one, not a lot, but let's see if I can pull it right up on that one just a little bit here. Fuel coming out of this one. I think this, yep, this one's getting wet here too. So, all right, we're we're real close, but I think I'm gonna have to put the battery charger on. That's fine. the injectors now. It's a whole lot more, well I shouldn't say a lot better than last time but it's it's a lot better than the last time. Alright let's uh that is that one there. Let's uh let's crack this one just because it's easy to get to and and it was the last one that was getting there all right I'll just leave it like that for now fuel but let's see if it's I don't know if can you see let's see uh, right there yeah watch that one see if it's squirting any fuel out
Okay. Let's just make sure there's no air in here. It's dripping fuel, but it's not doing awesome there. Okay. Floor right to the top still. Okay. Good. All right. Okay, that one's full right to the top as well. That's good. I am getting a little bit of smoke coming out of the stack, but not enough yet. A little air coming out of this one. Nope. Not much though. Okay. Try some more. coming out the return okay. Okay. all right well maybe I'll undo these lines again here like I did before that's what I did last time so I'll do that coming out of there yeah. yeah that's what I did last time so let's do it again Well, no. Cool. All right. I'll let it go right there. Okay. Let's try some more.
Definitely got fuel coming out of this one. And that one. Still waiting on these two. All right, definitely got fuel there as well. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little more fuel out of this bag. We're getting there. It's not as wet as I'd like. I got a battery charger though. Okay, well, still getting air out of this thing. Um, I think it'd be better if I uh, had somebody pull me. Um, so I'll wait till tomorrow. So I'll come back tomorrow. You come back too. Well, that's actually going to be about right now. told me that uh, that uh, bean seed we're using for green beans was a little bit old well this has been planted for long enough I don't see them coming up and they weren't planted too deep well there's one right there two one there one there looks like we're gonna have to replant some green beans oh well yeah that is not very good germination so Word of the wise, don't use old seed. Unless, unless you like wasting your time, apparently. So, all right, because we've had plenty of rain. All right, this is peas. We do have some peas growing. And grass. So, yeah, we need to get out here and get some grass. Step over this. There's some more peas. 
a little bit better there. Okay, well, let's finish our little rip ski. Definitely is running better than and longer than the time before. on this one it's been deleted or never had it does have a belt pulley drive it does have the live power unit uh, she's pretty stiff so I'm not gonna break it so, but it's on there and that wheels not set up so her you know froze up because of that but. all right well I think we're gonna call the video there beautiful tractor Somebody else is going to own it, though. Yep, she's going to hit Marketplace here pretty quick, unless my uh, <coughs> friend of a friend wants it, then he can have it. But, uh, I'll find out from him if he's still interested. So, well, there she is. Well, we'll call the video here. i got to go to graduation here shortly. So, 283 diesel. UTS. This is a Minneapolis Bowling Diesel. Uh, Peter in uh, England was asking, and I don't know if I responded to him or not, but this is a Minneapolis Bowling 283D Diesel. All right, well, all right, we'll call the video here. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.